Hi class, in this video, we'll discuss the K method in ratio and proportion. Now, generally, we use K method when a series of ratio of fraction are given equal. What do I mean? Suppose x by a is equal to y by b equals to z by c is given, and then you are required to prove something. Then we assume this, what is given, as k. Now, when you assume this as k, your x equals to ak, y equals to bk, and z equals to ck. Then we substitute the value and get the desired result. Now, look over here. One more thing. If x by a equals to y by b equals to z by c, then each fraction will be equal to, we can add the antecedent and the consequent. Okay? So, x by a will be equal to x plus y plus z by a plus b plus c. Similarly, this will be equal to this and this will be equal to this. How? Look over here. Take this one, x plus y plus z by a plus b plus c. Now, x is a k, y is b k and z is c k. And this is a plus b plus c. So, this is k common. So, a plus b plus c by a plus b plus c. Now, a plus b plus c not equal to 0, which means k. And we already know x by a equals to k, y by b equals to k, which means x by a equals to y by b equals to z by c will be equal to x plus y plus z by a plus b plus c. Now, look at one sum. This is from xi 7.2 from ML Agarwal. Sum number 16. We'll use the k method. How? We'll take this as k, what is given to us. Then we know x equals to ak, y equals to bk, and z equals to ck. Clear? Now take the LHS. This is x cube plus, sorry, x cube by a square plus y cube by b square plus z cube by c square. We'll put the value. x cube will be a cube k cube by a square. y cube will be b cube k cube by b square and z cube will be c cube k cube by c square which means this becomes a k cube plus b k cube plus c k cube after cancellation which means I take k cube common this becomes a plus b plus c done now we'll solve RHS look over here so we have x plus y plus z whole cube by a plus b plus c whole square. Now I'll substitute the value. Look over here. Instead of x, I can write a k plus b k plus c k whole q by a plus b plus c whole square, which k common. So k a plus b plus c whole q by a plus b plus c whole square. Which, when I open the curly bracket, this becomes k cube a plus b plus c whole cube by a plus b plus c whole square. Which means, after cancellation, k cube a plus b plus c. See, RHS equals to LHS. Which means, x cube by a square plus y cube by b square plus z cube by c square will be equal to x plus y plus z whole cube by a plus b plus c whole square. We can write it over here. Okay. Now let us look at the next sum. Now look at this sum, 17 part 2, which says if a by b equals to c by d equals to e by e, f, prove that a cube plus c cube whole square by b cube plus d cube whole cube square is equal to e to the power 6 by f to the power 6. We'll take this as k, which means a is equal to bk, c equals to dk, and e equals to fk. Am I clear? Now take LHS. Your LHS is A cube plus C cube whole square by B cube plus D cube whole square. Now look carefully. Instead of A, I can write BK. So it becomes B cube K cube. Isn't it? Plus, instead of C, I can write DK. So it becomes D cube K cube whole square by, this is b cube plus d cube whole square. Now look carefully, this k cube taken common, so b cube 
plus b cube whole square by b cube plus b cube whole square and when you open the bracket the curly bracket this becomes k to the power 6 b cube plus d cube by b cube plus d cube whole square isn't it this term this term cancels out of course this is not equal to 0 which means we get LHS as k to the power 6 now look at RHS your RHS is e to the power 6 by f to the power 6 instead of e we can put fk so this will be f to the power 6 k to the power 6 by f to the power 6 so k to the power 6 of course f not equal to 0 which means LHS equals to RHS proved done now look at the next sum now look at sum number 18 approach is same you know if ax equals to by equals to cz prove that x square by yz plus y square by zx plus z square by xy equals to bc by a square plus ca by b square plus ab by c square same we'll take this as k so your look carefully your x becomes k by a your y becomes k by b and your z becomes k by c. Now take the LHS of this expression. Your LHS is x square by yz plus y square by zx plus z square by xy. Let's substitute the value. So x is k by a, so this becomes k square by a square. y is k by b multiplied by z is k by c. Plus similarly y square. So this becomes k square by b square by z is k by c multiplied by k by a plus z is k square by c square and your x is k by a multiplied by k by b. Am I clear? Now look carefully this becomes k square by a square by k square by bc plus k square by b square by k square by ac plus and this becomes k square by c square by k square by ab okay now what happens if you simplify this look carefully k square k square goes away so what i'm saying k square by a square divided by k square by bc so when you simplify this k square by a square multiplied by bc by k square which means it becomes bc by a square so this becomes bc by a sorry this becomes this becomes bc by a square plus similarly this becomes ac by b square similarly this becomes ab by c square which is equal to rhs isn't it which implies this will be equal to this clear now look at the next sum now look at this sum, very interesting. This came in ICC 2010. If x, y, z are in continued proportion, prove that x plus y whole square by y plus z whole square equals to x by z. Simple. Same process. Then continued proportion, so we can write x by y equals to y by z. And suppose this is k. Then can I say x equals to y k? And when you equate these two, can I say y equals to z k? Now look carefully, over here, x equals to yk, instead of y, we can put zk. So this becomes zk into k, that becomes zk square. Now you utilize these values and put over here. Look over here, LHS. LHS is x plus y whole square by y plus z whole square. Instead of x, can I write zk square? Instead of y, can I write zk? Of course. Similarly, y, I have written zk, z as it is. Now look over here. In the numerator, I think zk is common. So what is left? k plus 1 whole square. And over here, if I take z common, is k plus 1 whole square. Isn't it? Which means when you open the bracket, z square k square 
k plus one whole square by z square k plus one whole square. Now this, 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 this cancels out. So this becomes k square. Am I clear? Now look at RHS. X by z. Instead of x, we can write z k square by z add as it as it is. So this becomes k square. Isn't it? So LHS equals to RHS proof, which means this will be equal to x plus y whole square by y plus z whole square will be equal to x by z. Clear? Now let us look at the next sum. Now look at this sum. 22 part 6. This came in ICC 2015. If A, B, C are in continued proportion, prove that A plus B plus C bracket A minus B plus C is equal to A square plus B square plus C square. Now look over here. These are in continued proportion. So can I take A by B equals to B by C? I'll take it as K suppose. Which means, can I write A equals to B K? And can I write B equals to C K? So B again, put the value C K, so it becomes C K square. So A is equal to B K as well as C K square. B equals to C K. Now I'll take the left hand side and C. A plus B plus C. A minus B plus C. Instead of A, can I write C K square? Instead of B, I can write C K plus C. This is again C K square minus C K plus C. Take C common. So what is left? K square plus K plus 1. Over here also take C common. So what is left? K square minus K plus 1. Isn't it? Now C into C is C square. And this becomes K square plus K plus 1. K square minus K plus 1. Okay. Now C square. Now when you multiply these two. Okay. I have already done the multiplication. This becomes K to the power 4 plus K square plus 1. On multiplication. You can do it on your own. Okay. Now see RHS. Your RHS is A squared. A square plus B square plus C square. Instead of A, I can write C K square. So A square will become C square K to the power 4 B C K. So B square will become C square K square plus C square. Take C square common. So this becomes K to the power 4 plus K square plus 1. See, your LHS equals to RHS proved. Which means your A plus B plus C your a minus b plus c is equal to a square plus b square plus c square. The approach in all the sums are similar. Clear? Now look at the next sum. Now look at this sum. Very interesting. If a, b, c, d are in continued proportion, prove that a is to d is equal to triplicate ratio of a minus b is to b minus c. Which means we need to prove that a is to d is equal to triplicate ratio will be what? a minus d whole cube. Sorry, a minus b whole cube by b minus c whole cube. We need to prove this only. Now look carefully. a by b equals to b by c equals to c by d. Suppose we assume it as k. Then your a equals to bk. Your b equals to ck. Which is b is ck. So this will be ck square. Then your c is dk. So c is dk. So over here if you put so b becomes dk square. And over here, we, if you put the value of C, then it becomes D, K, Q. Done. Now look. Let us solve LHS. Your LHS is A by D, which is equal to D, K, Q by D, which was simple, K, Q. Got it? Your RHS. Your RHS is what? A minus B whole Q by B minus C whole Q. Now instead of A, can I put uh, DKQ, DKQ minus B, can I put D K square whole Q by B again, DK square and C is what? DK, I'm just substituting the value. Then in the numerator, if I take DK 
k square common this is k minus 1 whole square and this is if I take again dk common this is k minus 1 and this is sorry this was whole cube this is also whole cube now open the bracket so this becomes g cube k to the power 6 k minus 1 whole cube this becomes g cube k cube k minus 1 whole cube which means if you see k to the power 3 is left which means here LHS equals to RHS proved hence we can say that A is to D is the triplicate ratio of A minus B is to B minus C and this was the last sub in the next video we will see something very interesting which is component or dividend which are the properties of proportion only okay